That was for me. You know, mama put it in the wheel for me. Well, when your, when your aunt showed up and tried to fight you over it, be wise enough to say, God don't even have blessings like that for me. You keep it. Mm. Next level. Mm. Yeah, I know what it is. Next level. And this is why you come to church. You get the wisdom. Right. Here it is. Because we don't believe my pastor, mm -hmm. I'm gonna ignore what he just said. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You'll catch that one next week. Mm -hmm. It'll show up though. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna ignore it. I'm gonna yeah. fight for what's mine, Pastor. Mm -hmm. And then this is the thing, this is what's so yeah. fickle about people, Sister Gordon. You know what they're gonna do? They gonna call me and say, you know what, Pastor, uh, I'm in the middle of this, you know, this uh contention right now. I need you to pray for me. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Why? Did Pastor just teach you that if it's a blessing? It ain't designed to be contentious. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to pray for? I'm going to pray you get a clue to let it go. Mm -hmm. Next level. <laughs> Mama, sometimes I got to be willing to walk away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because there's a freedom in walking mm -hmm. away. A yes, peace. Sir. Yes, sir. It's a peace. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to fight no more. That's for you. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says, Isaac named that well Essex. Because it was the well of contention or quarrel. Mm. He says, you know what? God ain't blessing. God ain't blessing quarrelsome stuff. So, so as long as I'm fighting, I understand God isn't in it. Let me say that one more time. And I pray somebody heard that. As long as I'm fighting, God is not in it. Let me say that one more time. As long as I'm fighting, God is not in it. But pastor, you don't realize what he did to me. As long as you're still fighting, God is not in it. He said, wash your hands. Right. And the Bible says, okay. I just say, you know what? Let them happen. Mm -hmm. He goes downstream a little further. He digs up another way. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he finds water there too. <laughs> and when he digs this well, listening to his dad, what his dad, his leader has told him for a number of years, what he has stored up for, he digs the well. And guess what? The enemy comes back. He says, yeah, you might own the well, but the water is ours. Isaac, he hears from his herdmen who are telling him at this time, Isaac, we're going to fight for this one. We already gave him one. Y'all ain't trying to get me. Mm -hmm. No, it we, is. We're we going to fight for this one now, Isaac. You know, they pushing you over, Pastor. You know, you know it can't always be that they get their way with them. God ain't call us to be spiritual punks. Right. That's what we start saying to the Pastor. You know, God ain't call us to be run over, yeah. Pastor. We got, to be, we got to get some backbone and fight for this one. Isaac said, let them have. Let them have. Teach it. Because I understand. Whatever God has for us no is not going to have a fight connected to it. So since they want to fight over that one, give them that one too. Yes. The Bible says he named that one Sitna. That is so good. The See, word Sitna means enmity. Not enemy, but enmity. Mm -hmm. Now, enmity is what God said the enemy, Satan, and Jesus would have between them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. We have enemies. Yeah. But only Christ and Satan can be in enmity. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> how can I how can I make this more plain, Jesus? Okay. We have enemies on a natural level. Mm -hmm. But enmity can only take place in the spirit. That's good, sir. Right, that's so it. Isaac understood that he's already faced a natural enemy at Essex. So he calls it quarrel. He now realizes he's facing spiritual opposition. Oh, catch this. When the enemy has shown up naturally and he comes back and shows again, it's a sign that is greater than what you think. Mm. Okay. When I'm getting issue in numerous areas over the same thing, that means the purpose of the thing is greater than what I'm going to naturally do. Right. Mm. Hmm. Okay, so here, let, let me let me I'll go back to what we like to talk about on this side, money. Okay, uh, when there is a financial struggle behind a vision that God has given you, the first stop or the first denial from the bank, you can begin to understand that maybe this was a natural, just, you know, I ain't supposed to be in that particular place at this time. Go ahead. But then you go back, same vision, same business, same location and you get shut down again, well, what the understanding is, just giving you a practical reference where we are, is that the contention now is not just on what you're thinking it's on, but it's on the impact you're going to have in the nation. Mm -hmm. So Isaac says, I understand that my physical enemies have come against me. I understand that my spiritual stuff has come, so I'm going to walk away from all of it. Mm -hmm. 
The Bible says that he tells the servants, don't worry about it. We're going to go on up the stream. <clears throat> the Bible says that now, Isaac, after being denied twice, after having contention twice, he comes down to this next place. <laughs> and he digs this well. And the Bible says there was water that was flowing from this well. And there was no contention. So Isaac decides he's going to name this well Rehoboth. <laughs> now, Rehoboth means spaciousness or enlargement. That God literally has enlarged my territory because I was willing to understand what not to fight. He never gets the enlargement if he settles for Essek and Sitna. Mm. Because those paled in comparison to the flow that was coming from Rehoboth. Yeah. So much so that when Rehoboth shows up, Jenkins, he got the attention of the king again. And the Bible says that the king took his homeboy with him. And they come and they say, <laughs> Isaac, um, we want to really repent. Uh, I understand that we were against you in a lot of areas. But, you know, remember, we ain't do no wrong to you. You know, we ain't, we ain't mess with your wife. You know, uh, we, ain't, we ain't steal your servants. You know, we, we, we were cool with you. We let you live here when it was a famine. You know, all I'm asking is that you remember that we were nice to you. But because the enemy got a clue that the hand of God was yes. on Isaac's life. That's good. Catch this. When the enemy comes back and says, remember me as a friend. Go ahead. The enemy. The, the, the one who stopped up his last two projects. The, the, the one who fought with him over the access to what was supposed to be his blessing. Now gets a whiff that God has favored him and the enemy can't do anything about it. So the enemy decides, I'm going to come and make nice now. I'm going to come and make friends now because, Isaac, I want you and I to be cool. And the Bible says that Isaac said, well, look, y'all stay here with me overnight. I'm going to make a feast for you because I need to talk to Jesus about where I'm supposed to, how I'm supposed to handle it. <laughs> let, 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 let me help you, Black. Uh, yes. Yeah, that, that we can't get so moved, as Tiana, when the enemy comes groveling that we just so willing to accept his proposal. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I got to be willing, Foster, to go to God and say, God, give me wisdom how to handle my enemy. <coughs> give me not only the wisdom how to handle them, but give me the power not to celebrate in their face. Mm. That's next level again. Give, give me the, the dignity wow. to look my opposer in the face. Yeah. And still be able to shake his hand, yes. feed him a meal, and send him on his way. Dignity. Mm -hmm. Give me the coof. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Pastor. <laughs> that, 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 that I'm not going to become so braggadocious mm. that the hand of God, which was on my life the whole time, I don't get the I told you so. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's maturity, Shell. That, that I can look at the one who opposed me, mm -hmm. the, enemy. the one who stopped up my progress for yeah. years. Yeah. And now come shake his hand wow. and say, I thank God for yeah. you. Yeah. Because without yeah. you, I never get this. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so Isaac says, just, just stay with me overnight. I, I've got plenty of room for you. Uh, you know, you know, I, I got I got a space for you. Matter of fact, give you your own home for the evening. Uh, just just stay there and uh, meet me in the morning. Uh, we're gonna have a, a spread laid out and we'll discuss our relationship going forward. And the Bible says that the king wakes wakes up early in the next morning. He comes talk with Isaac, and Isaac sitting at the table already waiting for him. And he says, listen, uh, King, I understand that everything you did was designed to get me to this place, and because the blessing of the Lord is so rich on my life, I'm going to let you depart in peace. Mm -hmm. He shakes his hand. But before the king could leave the house, mm -hmm. the Bible says the servant comes running, knocking on Isaac's door. He says, Isaac, we hit the big one this time. Oh my. <laughs> we were digging in Sheba. Go ahead. And found a whale. <laughs> and when we found that yes. whale, it was connected to seven whales. Oh my God. And we've got so much flow happening out here on this side that's uncontentious <laughs> that God has opened up for us. My God. So catch what happens. The king hearing Bible. that Isaac has now already 
spoken blessing before blessing came. I hope we caught that. He spoke riches before riches showed up. It was when he understood that my stability has to be unfaith. I've got to believe that if God told me he was going to bless me, yes. even if I have not yet seen the yes. blessing, he promised to bless me in this land. Yes. So because concord has already been promised to be blessed. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Even before All right. I see it, yeah. I'm saved. Yeah. Yes, because my faith is unfaith. Yes, yes Lord. I'm not moved by the wells being stopped up. Yes, sir. Mm, mm, mm. I'm not Contention. moved yes, sir. by the no's that have come yes. because I understand what his promise was. Yes. He said go to Concord. Yes. Go. So as long as I'm within the boundary of the city, yes, sir. Yes. Go ahead, Pastor. there is a promise go. that yes. there has to be a well for me. Yes. Mm, 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 Catch mm. this now. When Isaac, eh, I, I feel God today. No, when, 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 when Isaac first decided he was going to leave, catch this, Foster. The scripture says that, that God told him to dwell in Gerar. So when Isaac agreed to leave, the scripture says even though he left, he didn't leave the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about that? Mm -hmm. uh, the Bible says he went in the valley of Gerar, which means he identified the outskirts of the city because he understood had he gone over the boundary. Mm -hmm. into the city he had not been promised. Right. Mm -hmm. Even though the blessing of God was supposed to be on his life, he would have stealed God's hand by being disobedient yeah. to the assignment. Mm -hmm. yes. So he says, catch this, even though I got enemies trying to kick me out of my promise, I'll go, but I'm going to stay in the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Catch that yeah. at the very end. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Mm. So, <laughs> so when I think black, yes, sir. about what God has said to us, mm. 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 And, 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 and I've been with the help of Minister Black, Sister Evans, others, great people, uh, just give me uh, insights and places and spots. We, we, we had just literally exhausted, My Sister God. Stoops, uh, the core of Concord. I mean, anything within about a seven mile radius of here, uh, we had really kind of beat it up. I mean, it was just like, man, nothing. And, and, and when we get the call concerning where I believe God is sending us, I found that in order to get to the building, Deacon is Black, <laughs> I got to drive outside of the city, catch mm -hmm. this, just to come back to the edge of the city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's in the city yeah. Go ahead. that the promise is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It, it, it doesn't matter what the cost is. As long as I'm on the location, yes, sir. the promise is ours. Yes, sir. So even if this one gets shut down, mm -hmm. there has to be something yeah, in the city, yeah. regardless of the price, yeah. that's for us. Because the blessing isn't even on the ministry, it's on the land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I gotta be unfazed yes, sir. in my stability. Yes, sir. I gotta be unbothered by whatever yeah. folks Try to throw it. Yeah. You got to be unbothered yeah. by whatever it is that people try to tell you is not God for you. Because there's a well, there's a well. for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're willing to not fight and to not quarrel, but wait for God to open the door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my stability is unfazed. I never quit. I never quit. Wells, I never quit. Yes, never quit. Amen. I never quit. Never. Never. I'll have to die yes, believing. That's good, sir. I can't you never talk about nobody but me, Shell, so I'll stay with me. I'm going to have to die believing my son is coming. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. That's just where I am. Believe it. I'm unfazed. And I get excited about it, too, because I know I ain't faced. I, the, the thing that really excites me is that the environment, the nature of it happening is literally like impossible. Mm. That's what I love about it. God, it yes, just sir. can't happen. That's mm. the thing that I love about it. Yes, so when it shows up, i got to still use the wisdom of God. How do I approach my enemies now? Do I go to them and say, look at what God has done? <laughs> what a soft voice. Yes, sir. Do I go to them and tell you, didn't I try to tell you for the last 15 years? Mm -hmm. but, but, but God said you got to use the wisdom of God <laughs> to invite them to yeah. the baby shower. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. 
time. Invite them to get a meal. Yes, sir. Yes. Sit down. Let me serve you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to leave you with a blessing. Yes, sir. Because I understand that if God has backed me in this, it has to be a success. <sighs> mm -hmm. right. Here to get out here. So, 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 so Isaac goes through what he goes through, remaining stable, remaining committed to God. This is the thing that I love, that his response was unchanged even after the victory. Okay? His response was unchanged even after the same way he believed and he spoke when the enemies were stopping up his blessings, the same way he believed and he spoke when the enemy was kicking him out of the land, the same way he believed and he spoke before he even showed up there, he still had that same refrain at the end of the day. He says, I'm going to now call this, verse 33, and he called that place Sheba, okay, uh, which means uh, a seven, really the oath, uh, a well of oath, or the oath of seven, which indicates completion. And the scripture says, therefore, the name of that city or that place is Beersheba even unto this day. Which means that God, when God opens up for you and God establishes a thing for you, he does not just establish it for you, but for generations to follow you. Yes. So what it is that we're doing and building in this house at this time isn't even really for us. It's for the generations that shall come after us Amen. that'll be able to say when famine shows up in their lives, I remember what my pastor did. Yes. <laughs> when issue and enemies arise, Caleb won't have to try to figure out how to handle the problem. He can say, I chose in my formative years <laughs> to sit in Bible study. Oh, that's good, sir. And to listen yeah, to what my pastor was saying. Mm -hmm. So that when my time to lead came, I didn't have to guess at this thing. That's right. I had a road map that I could follow. Yes, sir. And if God would bless my pastor, yeah. certainly he'll bless me. My God. All I gotta do is be willing to be unfazed. Yeah. When the new regime rises up and say we don't need to do it that way no more. When the new regime rises up and says don't take all that to be holy. When the new regime rises up and say we'll need prayer service, we'll need Sunday school, we'll need Bible study, just come do 10 o'clock Sunday for 33 minutes and we'll be good. When that foolishness rises up, you'll be able to say, but wait a minute, oh, I remember success followed us when we were on our knees at 6.30 on Wednesday. Mm. Success followed us when we were having Sunday school at 945. Yeah. Success followed us when we had morning worship at 1045. So if success followed us <laughs> then, certainly it'll follow us now if we just go back to the way. Yeah. <laughs> go back. My source. Yes, sir. You got to have a source. That's, that's the last thing I'm going to say, Black. You, you, you hit something real good. Yes, sir. Um, I talked earlier about an anchor mm. and about stability and how an anchor and stability were in fact useless without a source. They, they have to be, it has to be something that the anchor connects to. It has to be something that stability enjoins to in order for an anchor or for stability to actually work, okay? So I used the analogy earlier of a ship and if a ship has an anchor, the ship can, can move all throughout the seas as long as the anchor is still stowed away. But when the anchor is dropped, the ship will stop only when the anchor has something to catch. Uh oh. All right? So, so the anchor does nothing until it's something for it to catch. All right. Now, uh, when, 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 when we're saying that our hope or our faith is the thing that brings stability, the reality is, Kanye, there has to be hope and faith in something mm -hmm. in order for you to remain stable. Mm -hmm. Okay, there, there has to be another source that your faith hooks into in order to remain. Hooks. Okay, there, there has to be something to hold on to. Yeah. Okay, faith without something to have faith in mm -hmm. is really just a wish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. now, 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 where else did God help me? I, this, I, okay. Um, when, when, when I was beginning to think about what we're supposed to be anchored in, 
you know, the scripture began to come to my mind in, in Isaiah uh, 28 and, and 16, where it said that he was going to lay uh, for a foundation a stone in Zion. Yes. Uh, this was a chief cornerstone yes, sir. that was going to become the head of the building. And as you begin to do the looking and the research and connecting, you begin to understand, Sister Evans, that that stone the prophet Isaiah was speaking of was Jesus Christ. Now, if Jesus is designed to be the source that we hook into, hmm. the truth is, apart from me getting wisdom about him, I'm not capable of anchoring in him. I need to know what his character is in order for me to say I'm hooked in him. Mm -hmm. Because the hook can only catch on something that's hookable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I can't put a bowling ball down right. and try to put a hook on it unless the hook finds the finger insert to hold on to. Yes. Right. Okay. So I gotta understand what about Jesus I'm supposed to be latched on to. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, is, it, on. Is, it, is it the fact that you know he was a prophet that I'm supposed to be latched on to, like the Muslims say. Y'all ain't trying to talk to me tonight. Mm. Uh, is it that I'm supposed to be latched on the fact that he was a good man, a good man, like Jehovah's Witness say, or am I latched on the fact that he's the Son of God yes, that sir. died for my sins, like the Christians say? So when I'm latched on to who he is as the Son of God, mm. that means when religions come and try to push me Latch. off of what I know, I'll remain unfazed by their approach. Because I'm hooked yes, on what he yeah. is to me. Yes, I know him source. to be mm. my source and my strength. Mm. I know him to be my healer and my protector. I know him to be my provider and my counselor. So if I'm hooked into that part of him, it's difficult for me to, to, for me to uh, shift or to waver because my stabling or my stability is connected to what I believe. That's right. So here it is. The reason we still get phased or we still get moved is because we don't really believe. Yeah. Because if I believe, the belief would bring stability. Yeah. Well, Pastor, how do I believe? I believe specifically after I've had an experience with him that has taught me who he is to me. Yes, yeah. now, 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 it's easy to hear from somebody else what Jesus is. But it's something completely different when you experience him for yourself. That's good, sir. When you're in a situation that you know it had to have been him. Yes. Or you would not have gotten out of it. Right. When you were in a situation where literally everything was shut down, but yet his word says you were going to rise and you rose, there is an experience now that is birthed in me for the rest of my life that it matters not what people try to say to throw me off. Yes. I've got an anchor in my experience. Mm. Talk to me, Black. Oh, no, sir. I'm you sure? Heard. I'm sure. You sure? You positive? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, the, the reality is, when I'm hooked, catch this. I just heard that. When, when, when I'm hooked, that means this thing has now, not only do I have it, but it has me. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. when, when, back in the day, I don't know if they still do this or not, but there was this thing called hooked on phonics. Mm. <laughs> Yes, sir. Works for me. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, 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 as I go, it's interesting that they chose for a slogan, hooked on phonics. Mm -hmm. Because they, they, they could have said anything, like, you know, learning phonics or, uh, you know, uh, creating phonics, whatever. But, but hooked indicates, Mr. Black, that there's now a part of phonics yes. that has become a part of me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hooked. That, that, that when I start pronouncing things, I use the phonetical, I say, mm, mm, no, no, when I'm saying in, because I'm hooked. Yes, sir. It's become a part of me that the only way I can form words is by using what I'm hooked on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when I become hooked on to Christ, mm. yes. the only way I can form words yes. is connected to what I'm hooked on. Yes. So when trials rise, I still say stuff like, I can do all things yeah. through yes. Christ. Yeah. Yes, sir. When, when, when to my body, I begin to say, but by his stripes, I am healed. When my mind gets crazy, I begin to say, but he will keep me in perfect peace Amen. if my mind is stayed Amen. on. When my life is a little bit, you know, all over the place, I remember I can begin to say, well, as long as he's holding me in the palm of his hand, he's got me. I'm hooked on him. Yes. So now he becomes what comes out of me. Amen. 
<laughs> My Amen. God. Amen. Amen. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm, I'm finished. I ain't saying that. Amen. 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 Amen.